よしちょうどいい言葉で説明するよりやってもらった方が早いえっとえっうそ何これいいから僕の言う通りにしてくれ。クリスマスに強盗なんてサンタクロースの罰が当たるわよ誰だおめえ正義の戦士セーラー服美人戦士セーラー V 参上The scene you just saw is the fabulous Ajaka Komatsu making her role as Sailor B for the Sailor Moon live action series She is known for being the very first and only actress that has portrayed this character in a Sailor Moon official project. And that's why she is so amazing. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is my very, very first review of 2016, and I am very, very excited because today I am reviewing the amazing Premium Band the Exclusive Bullet Sailor V. Yay! For those of you who still don't know, she is my all time favorite Sailor Moon character and I love her because she is the best and she is the reason why we have all these amazing stuff with us. So, let's jump right into the unboxing. Here is the fabulous box. This box is very similar to Human Luna's box except that the colors change. For example, the background in this box is blue and we have red ribbons over here. And we have the 20th anniversary logo. We also have Sailor Moon logo and Sailor V in both English and Japanese languages. In one of the sides, we have more of that red ribbons and the beautiful bullet design that every box has. The back is, as always, the warning and precautions, so you be careful. We have the bullet sticker right here and also the toy sticker. The top, as well as other parts of the box, has Sailor V's mask and the pulip. And the bottom is like this. Here is a side shot of the box, just to show you how Artemis is packed. He's all the way in the left. One of the goodies that come with this bullet doll is her collector card. And she looks pretty as always. She also comes with a cute, super tiny Artemis plush. It is very well made. And here she is, the legendary Guardian of Justice looking amazing.
Everything is attached by Velcro. Let's talk about her face up. She got a lot of yellow eyeshadow. As you can see, she also got pink cheeks and pink lips with a red line in the middle and some gloss in it. She also has her iconic crescent moon in her forehead and her eyebrows are flawless. And here are my two bays, Sailor V and Sailor Venus together. And you might be wondering what do they have in common regarding face up and stuff because you're basically buying the same doll. And now I am going to tell you what is different. Let's start with their eyes. Uh, as you can see in Sailor Venus, she has pink eyeshadow at the top and yellow at the bottom. While Sailor V has just yellow eyeshadow all around her eyes. The eyeliner, as you can see in here, changed in color as well. Sailor Venus has brown and Sailor V has black. Her eye chips are the same color, which is totally fine with me because they are the same character. And let's talk about the lips. And as you can see, Sailor V right here has a peachy pink color and a little bit of gloss in it. And she doesn't have the red line that Sailor V has in the middle of her lips. She also got more glossy and more pink lips than her. Her cheeks are kind of similar as well, but they change a little bit, just a hint. Here is peachy and here is pink. And it's just a slight difference. And obviously the crescent moon, she has it and she does. I also noticed that their hair colors are different. Sailor Venus's hair is a hint darker than Sailor V and their bangs are styled in a different way. Sailor V has longer bangs while Sailor Venus has shorter ones. And the last thing I noticed is the differences in the bows and Sailor Venus bows is a little bit kind of smaller and not that well designed while Sailor V's is a little bit more beautiful I believe. I am back with my thoughts in this beautiful, majestic, incredible, fabulous, unique, gorgeous bullet doll. I am so happy to have her, guys. And as always, I am going to start from head to feet. First, her hair. It is as soft and shiny and beautiful as Bullet Sailor Venus, which is basically perfect because they are both the same character. Her face up is really beautiful. And I thought it was going to be a little bit more girly or younger because Sailor V is obviously younger than Sailor Venus. But no, it has a lot of pink in it and I like it anyways. Her outfit is perfect. I am very very happy that they decided to keep the outfit from the manga instead of the first anime because I really don't like that one that much. And this one is lovely. And I am happy that they decided to keep her panties. Her shoes, they are the same as Sailor Venus. However, this new version of the shoes are a lot better because they do not fall. Let's start with Artemis. This is such a cute little blush, you guys. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, she's staring into your soul. I love it. And the tail has a wire inside so you can bend it anywhere you want. But I want to leave it like that. And he's very very cute, he's well made. And the worst part of this doll, the mask. This mask is a pain in the butt. Holy crap, it took me like half an hour to try to put this thing in her face. Because what you have to do is basically take this wire you see right here and put it inside of the eyes. And it's impossible, it's impossible, I can't do it. So what I decided to do is take some tape and I put it those white things right there and I just stick it to her face to, you know, to have her with her mask on. I paid $130 from the premium Bandai store 
and I highly recommend her. This is the end of my review. I hope you like, I hope you comment if you have any question, opinion or concern about this beautiful doll. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe so you can take a look at more of my videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. See you in my next review. Bye!